Spray Paint Art Secrets presents Acrylic Painting Techniques. Spray Paint Art Techniques modified for use with a cheap airbrush and regular water-based acrylic paints. And I am going to show you what's in our setup videos. First of all, I teach you about what kinds of paint that you can use to create all these wonderful effects and the different qualities that each paint has. And what will happen to it when you use it in these layering effects. And then I show you how to take your regular acrylic paints that come in tubes, different qualities, artist quality and student quality, and how to prepare them for use with your cheap airbrush. Now don't use these with an expensive airbrush. These preparations are intended only for the airbrushes that I recommend, but they work great to create the spray paint art techniques and the layered effects that you're just going to really enjoy. And then I go over the kinds of paper that you can use and I've got airbrush paper and canvas paper and watercolor paper and poster board paper and all kinds of paper. And each one of these is going to require a different kind of preparation so that the techniques can work well with it. Some of them are easy to prepare, some of them take a little bit more time, and some of them just work as they are. So you'll learn about the painting surfaces that you need and what makes a good surface. And then you will need a compressor to run your cheap airbrush. And I go over how to purchase a compressor, what kind to get, where to get it so that it's cheap and works effectively and where to get your inexpensive airbrush what kinds will work now regular airbrushes take a long time to change your colors but the airbrushes that i recommend uh, you can paint quickly with them and you can spray quite a bit of paint and you need that it's it's not like regular airbrush you need quite a bit of paint coming out of your of your airbrush because we're working in layers again in removing layers of paint and so you need a very specific kind of paint and a very specific quantity and a very specific surface. But once you've got all that down and I make it really easy and obvious for you, then you'll be ready to create all the really cool spray paint artifacts with your water-based acrylic paint. And I go through some basic techniques. Now spray paint art started off as a method of painting. Well, the, some of the first uh, spray paint artists began with planets. So I start with planets as well, and I'll show you the basics, painting some cosmic scenes, but it's not limited to that. You can use these techniques to paint all kinds of different scenes and landscapes and even portraits and people. But to learn the basics, we'll start with the planetary scenes. And they're really fun to paint. So I walk you through a couple of different planetary scenes on different kinds of paper, and I show you how to use the newspaper to create the beautiful land textures that you can create so beautifully with these techniques and water and sky textures and all kinds of interesting effects that you can do and once you've got the basics down using the techniques to paint planets on different kinds of papers then you'll be ready to go ahead and get a little creative and do some new stuff so i've included a few videos just to start you just to get you inspired to start some new interesting things. Okay, so we've got Gerardo's gonna teach you. Gerardo Amor, one of the inventors of spray paint art technique, is gonna teach you how to do a beautiful sunset with some clouds and some water and some palm trees. Now you can copy these paintings if you wish, or you can take the techniques and add them to whatever it is that you love doing the most. The main thing is that you have fun. These techniques are a lot of fun to play with, and they lead in all kinds of interesting directions. And then I'll show you how to make a gorgeous ocean wave using the same layered techniques. And we're using some brushes and some newspaper and our fingers. And I'll show you how to do that, and then you can use that to create ocean scenes in minutes whenever you choose. Now we get to play with the airbrush to create the foam blowing the blowing the paint around like the wind, like the real wind would blow it around. So I'll show you how to do all that. And with the techniques in these setup videos and the two videos that come with it, you should be good to get started and 
paint some really cool stuff and there'll be other videos that you can purchase separately but this should definitely get you started and I'm always here if you have a question or if you need something my name is Alisa Amor and my email is spraypaintartsecrets at gmail.com and I'd love to hear from you so buy the setup package get started start having some fun ciao